Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Exponent Sports Speak. I'm sports editor Derek Wiltice. And I'm executive reporter Joe Perello. All right, well, let's start with the baseball team. Derek, the uh, team struggled last week in their uh, first weekend. They traveled to Southern Illinois to face the Salukis. How did they fare? Well, Joe, even though the Boilermakers went 1-2 and two on the weekend, they should be much happier with this week's performance. In the first game of a three-game series against the Southern Illinois Salukis, they destroyed them 18-2. to two. In the second game, they took a, lead, or a tie game into the ninth, but sadly were unable to capitalize. And in the third game, their offense just seemed to go flat, and they lost 6-2. Uh, this week they should be much happier with themselves because they seem to really grow uh, from a defensive standpoint and seem to really limit the number of errors. Well Derek, the wrestling season is almost over. The team traveled for the Big Ten Championships this week. How did they do? Well Joe, the wrestling team competed in the Big Ten Championships this weekend where they finished six, a program best and the, their best finish in the last 18 years. Uh, Colton Salazar was their best performer at the 157 pound competition and in the finals he actually faced his best friend of, since the age of five, uh, Siler Sanderson of Penn State, but sadly Salazar would lose 8-4. to four. Uh, Six wrestlers have qualified for NCAA tournament with the possibility of a seventh, Akif Aaron at the 133 pound weight uh, to be decided on Wednesday. The NCAAs begin next weekend. <laughs> Well, Joe, the men earned their first Big Ten title since 1996. First off, what are your thoughts and where do they go from here? All right, well, Derek, the men did wrap up their first Big Ten regular season championship since 1996. And I got to tell you, it's a long time coming. I've been waiting five years for Purdue to win something meaningful. It just feels really good. Uh, going forward, they got the Big Ten tournament coming up this week. Uh, they will face the winner of the Northwestern versus Indiana game. And either way, you got the, the team's got to be looking at its chops. Either they get to beat Indiana for a third time, or they get a chance at a little redemption for uh, Northwestern beating them earlier this season. Uh, as far as the whole tournament looks, it's going to be interesting. Uh, they don't want to see Michigan State again. Can't handle all those six foot ten and above guys. And they probably don't want to see Wisconsin with all their size. But even without Robbie Hummel, they can pretty much match up with anybody else. They'd probably like to see Ohio State again. Uh, so. Outside shot, they, if they win this Big Ten tournament, they do the outside shot at a one seed, but uh, you got to think the team would be pretty happy with a two seed at this point. This week we're going to try a new segment called Athlete of the Week. Who is it this week, Joe? All right, Derek, this week my Athlete of the Week for Boilermaker Sports is sophomore Jennifer Rabot of the uh, women's tennis team. She ran a record to 10-0 and on the season, still undefeated. Though the team fell to Northwestern as a whole, she was able to defeat the number 31 player in the country. Her second consecutive win against a nationally ranked opponent. Look for her to vault herself into the national rankings in the next week and uh, become quite a force to be reckoned with. That's all we have this week for Exponent Sports Speak. I'm Derek Boltice. And I'm Joe Perello. Catch you after spring break.